So in this example, let us try to post uh, a internal a purchase order, right? Mm -hmm. uh, purchase order uh, type K, which is account assigned purchase order, right? And then you know how it is posting to the cost centers, we can see that. Okay. So I will take uh, a reference purchase order here which is already created and I will you know use the same data like 1000 is the purchase order organization right 1000 purchase organization and purchasing group I'll take 003 right and then um, so then the vendor which is like 1000 is a vendor right I'm just taking the vendor here and of course in it is asking for what is the ordering address and just taking a default. So in the account assignment uh, category here, uh, I will give here, you know, uh, as a, a cost center, which is if I give K, it's a cost center, right? And the material that I'm going to, you know, bring is here 990, so and then quantity is, let's say, 100. Okay. And since I have given the K, as a cost assignment, uh, you know, cat, this thing, account assignment category. Okay, let me first enter the plant also. You know, here, uh, and let me enter first the cost center, which is I'll give as a thousand as a cost center. And the plant, what was the plant used here? Let me see there. So, plant, I think 1000 plant, right? So now, you know, pretty much it's looked at like, okay, you know, uh, account assignment section where you are, you are, you know, bringing this particular value into this cost center, right? So this is the cost center, right? And then uh, internally, this is just a PO you are creating right now. Okay, let me go ahead and create the PO. PO creation is a big process. Uh, you know, a lot of things are there here, but right now I'm not, I'm not going to explain everything related to the PO. What is important here is that account assignment PO, which once you set here as account assignment category K, right? So then obviously it will look at, uh, you know, this particular K and then ask for like, what is the cost center, right? So, so then accordingly, then it will jump into, you know, jump into the account assignment category assign, uh, uh, account section here. And then you know you specified this is the cost center. Okay, so now let me go and save this. So in real time scenario, what happens? Now you are creating a purchase order. Then you will send this purchase order to your vendor. Okay, so vendor uh, will look at that purchase order and he will start supplying this material like nine nine one thousand whatever the material you have given. Of course, you will uh, create a document and send it. Right. So this is the purchase order. Uh, there are two things. Uh, you know, you can print this purchase order. Of course, this is all MM functionality. They can print the form. They can use um, they can use a smart form, Adobe form, or you know, SAP script forms like that, or a kind of letter form, right? And they will send it. Or, or if they are using EDI, uh, EDI means electronic data interchange, and if you your vendor also using SAP, then you can pretty much send this purchase order detail through the EDI to the vendor. Okay, but right mm -hmm. now we are not going to that discussion. Just for mm -hmm. just your understanding purpose only. So I created a PO. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, goods receipt. You know, for goods receipt, it's what we call MIGO, right? Uh, MIGO is a transaction code. You are using that goods receipt and Again, is this purchase order, right? So, so this is the purchase order I'm, you know, receiving right now. And uh, here I can enter like now. Uh, this is to cost center. And then once I enter the purchase order, all the details it has given. So right now, what I'm doing, I'm doing, uh, I'm executing a transaction goods receipt against this purchase order. Hmm.
हेलो रघु इट इज नॉट एडेबल हेलो हेलो मंत्रा आउ इज देयर आई आई एम हियर आई एम हियर रघु नॉट देयर कनेक्शन इज ब्रेक आई बिलीव कनेक्शन इज देयर अदरवाइज ही वी कैन नॉट टॉक टू ईच अदर या बट ओके मे बी रघु ओके कैन यू हियर मी नाउ ओके ओके रघु Yeah, yeah. Actually, my you know connection lost and now it came back. Okay, hmm. just one second. Yeah. Just one second. I, again, I log into SAP. Sorry about that. No. Yeah, I'm just uh, logging again. So here, um, uh, I was trying to do Migo, right? And uh, the procedure that I'm giving here. so since uh, you know it is uh, uh, pretty much uh, the values which are like whatever we entered the po so what we are trying to do here is you know we are trying to do the goods receipt right mm. the goods receipt against this po right so uh, accounting entry wise when you do this so you are obviously I mean if it is a normal circumstances you will post a debit to inventory and a credit to grir account right but in this case uh, it's not like that so let's look at uh, the accounting entry let's post and look at the accounting entry okay and the item is okay and then i'm just posting this okay and uh, so it's looking you know right now it is like previous period only is possible right so i will just go ahead and uh, change the previous period to you know this period to so let's say 5 or six like that okay and then i'm posting it so right now it is posting a document right so a material document is posted i can go and look at this material document right so if you see here uh, pretty much what happened is it is posted to a cost center here right and then it's not posted to an inventory account do you agree yes. and this is posted to grir account so that is the you know uh, beauty of purchase order with a account assignment category k which is requesting the cost center so now if we go and see the cost center there is a balance of uh, 1 1 0 7 you know whatever the value for that okay mm mm-hmm. okay and then if i if i go and you know use uh, there is a transaction called miro right so miro transaction will post to uh, so miro con- uh, transaction is you know getting posted to let me go here and then just you five here so 
so here you know pretty much it picked up whatever that value which you are posting right earlier and then um, miro is always like you know right now what is happening is that you are entering invoice right so this is the invoice that you are entering invoice you are entering uh, for that uh, the goods is that you made okay so now the accounting entry would come what uh, hanantra can you guess for me what is accounting entry will come with the time of invoice invoice uh, gr is uh, debited and the the customer is credited the supplier is credited yes not the customer but the vendor also awesome. yes the vendor 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 also awesome. that supplier. is that is what exactly yes supplier right yeah. so now i am just saving it right so it's posted so now the document is posted right so now i'll go and so this is the document which is posted right and if i go and look at this uh, details right of the details fall on documents here so you know pretty much you can see this document which is just now as you mentioned 1000 which is a vendor credit you know the value that you see the minus value here credit and um, you know goods receipt is a debit grir right here grir so you know pretty much in the grir account now what is the balance in the, G, uh, the grir account the balance is zero zero yeah. so and then uh, ultimately uh, one side you posted expense right which is which is posted to a cost center and another side you posted to a vendor but in in uh, in sap it does not post directly you know it will post first goods receipt and then you know say later on the invoice right that is the way it yeah. so yeah. uh, and another thing i wanted to show you right so now pretty much we can go to psd1 and look at that cost center 1000 right so you know whatever the posting but this posting was in may right so i will put like may remember that you know the posting period we given as a may right okay so it's the set uh, may or no no may one day i think now it's in fact let's yeah what was the value which is posted let's let's go back and uh, mb03 and this was the document which is posted right so this was the document which is posted as a cost center right 1000 let me look at uh, uh, the values posted to the funding document here yeah so the controlling is posted there yeah i think the one right so this is the value which is posted i wanted to see that balance in that cost center maybe you know post entry data is taken as a date here i'll just go and look at that asd1 and then uh, pretty much uh, and let me pick seven itself no no this one is Uh, sorry about that so like what what was happening is that you know we were looking at uh, you know the cost controlling area was different right so i i i have gone and set it up uh, um okay ks right so there the controlling area was sitting at the 2000 and this 1000 exist in the uh, mm. whatever the posting we made in the 1000 so you know that value was not coming right mm. so obviously so but anyhow you can look at that um, you know cost center posting right the postings that which are there here uh, in in this cost center like whatever the postings which are there 
So obviously now um, again I can go to OK yes, and I can set as a 1000 controlling area and you know save that for day, right? And then KSP1 go there and this this is the cost center I am looking at you know posting where there are a lot of postings in here. But what we are looking at here is the one which is in the period pi. So I'll just take pi and period pi. Like do that. So you know this is the value which is posted. Does it make sense now? Hmm. And when I was uh, trying to do that, you know there were some settings missing, right? So the purchase order was not for Now you can see pretty much uh, how the purchase order posted, how the GR is done, how invoice is you know generated for that and uh, if it is a cost account assignment obviously you know you are giving the cost center and you are looking at the postings in the cost center itself 